All right, I just want to show a quick demonstration on how to uh, hook these RGBW LEDs up to the Mi light controller. Um, I just started doing this myself, and it's kind of fun, but um, just in case somebody wanted to try to do it, I wanted to be able to show an example of me doing it. Um, it will require soldering. Um, I'm not really that good at soldering yet, and also I'm using the... Uh, uh, coated LED strips if you look closely here try to bring it in zoom possibly <laughs> all right so you'll notice that there's five pads on there not knowing how really well this shows up in the camera but um, from the front the top here would be a W for white, a blue, R for red, green, and then the uh, the volts in positive. Um, I'm only going to show a small strip here just for the demonstration. So on this type of strip, though, um, you have to your certain cut points. So I'm just going to cut along that one there, um, basically on that black line. So, I'm going to take it here, and then I'm going to come across and snip it down. All right. So, here we just have a small strip. Um, other things you're going to need, of course, is the uh, remote controller, programmable. You can have up to four different zones set up on this. I'll show you more about that in a little bit lighter. Um, you'll need a zone controller. So this one will be assigned to a button on that remote. Uh, you'll need a uh, solder station. Something to keep the uh, solder tip clean uh, because it, it's easy to make little mistakes and you want to keep your tip as clean as possible. Some solder. Some tape to help hold down the wires. A stripping tool or you can use side cutters but I find the stripping tools to be really easy and I'll give a quick example of that right now because we might as well go ahead and prep the different colored wires um, I just got these from Adafruit and they're you know solid core wires to make it a little bit easier yeah you can use the stranded wire because they're easier to solder but they're also a pain in the butt when you're trying to deal with small contacts so I'll go ahead and run these all through now with this one here from a triplet, uh, I've tried to run multiple wires too and I don't get very consistent results so I'll just do one at a time. So one wire, I'm going to put it right there, alright. And then you want to strip the other side a little bit longer because the other side is going to be what's going into the uh, controller. And on this specific type of strip, right underneath the sticky tape is how you can access the uh, contacts. See, right there. You can see it's because this is actually just a double sided tape right there. So, because I'm not actually going to use this strip, I'm going to remove it all. Just get it out the way. Um, so, you can tell right here that, you know, we go from the positive down. The positive down. I guess it really doesn't matter which wire you put on which, but I'm going to put the, the black wire on the volts and then use the other colors to match up with that. Now, if you didn't have the bottom contacts, you could take a razor blade and you could kind of cut down right there in the middle and then just kind of peel that off. So if you're not, if you don't have, if you don't require waterproof, then I suggest not getting the waterproof version because it's just annoying to work with sometimes. But for, for this one here, we're just trying to get this to light up with that. So 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the pads um, I like to use a, a little flux pin and this is just to clean the contacts up so then the solder stick better and because we're going to use these wires too might as well get them all cleaned up too This is the flux. We still want to put in the uh, you know, office one to solder up the, the connection. So I'm going to pre tin the wires. I got this. <clears throat> Alright. Let's put this solder gun up for a minute. Let's put the third hand out the way. And what I'm going to do here is try to bring it in. Try to zoom in really close. Let's put the third hand out the way, like I said. do here is I'm going to tape this down. Seem to get a good contrast on that. same thing this is where it gets really messy and I probably should use a sharper tip but I like to heat the contact up let it flow in you know you're doing it right but it's quick and easy there five contacts all right now let's pull these in we got going on here so it's gonna be black green red blue white so let's go with the black first <laughs> Green, 
What did I say? Blue? No, red. Red. Blue and white. And white. All right, so we got the we got them all plugged in there, and pull the tape off. All right, so now let's open this box up. Let me back the zoom up so it's not so silly. All right, all right. So, like I said, it's this Me Light Four Zone RGBW, which is important because that's the white. Now, what I thought was kind of funny. And I guess it's just, I made a mistake. The remote I got doesn't seem to have a white. There's a lot of white, but the color control is just for color. So white's kind of useless right now. But you know, since it's there, I'm gonna plug it in. And if I do ever get the right remote for the job, then it's already there. All right. So pop it in the box. Instructions this double-sided tape to help secure things and then the controller now it looks like it has two types of input uh, 12 volt or I guess you could run a positive and negative it tells you that right uh, well, actually the settings are right here someplace it says um, right here 12 to 24 and up to uh, total output 24 amps right okay yeah, 24 amps, sir. Sure. All right, but what's important here is the colors on this side. You can see where the white lines up, white, blue, green, red, and volts. Now, it's a little different than what we had going on here with our color patterns here. Um, we'll want to set it up so the, the volts, which are black wire, and then it would be red. So red's going there, then green. So we're going to do basically a flip right here. And we're going to transpose those. So let me go ahead and start. Oh, another tip too is when you're using these, um, is the threads in there or the, the little lockdown screws. They're up by default. So you just take a little screwdriver and you put it in there and it releases it so you can put stuff in. Let me try to get this in camera. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All right, down, down, down. All right. So now it was. Oh, let's start with the. Let's do the white first since it's here. So white. All right. Next color, blue. blue okay uh, next color is going to be green nope my blue didn't go in see that stupid blue get in there all right, all right blues in there uh what did i say next green 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 on here, tighten it down, pull, pull, red, da, 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 da. all right, red, and then volts, black, all right, all right, so then the next step, let's clear this off. Let's clear this off and this off. Is a, a power source. In this case, uh, I just got a generic 
uh, what is this? I think it's just a 12, 12 volt, one amp. Try to get that in the server. Yeah, all right. Turn this light off over there. And let's plug it in. Hopefully everything works. Oh, yep, see. We, we all we don't want. That must be a bad LED on there because this is all one strip. Maybe I cut it too close. I don't know. Probably just a dud. Regardless, it's there. And since these are non diffuse, you know, I'll have to put a cover over them. It'll diffuse them up nicely. All right, but that's not the point of this. The point is now to get the work with the remote. So, um, back to the remote. I already have something programmed on four and three. So, we'll program this on two. Now, what you have to do is you have to do it within three seconds of plugging it in. So, I'm going to plug it in, hit the button and now you can see it's blinking that means it's now programmed on that position all right so now we're set at white and you can see here that you can spin the colors around and that's pretty much it you just imagine if this is a longer strand you could put it like you know behind computer monitors or under your desk um it's a pretty slick little system they're not really that hard to work with and also you got fun soldering in small places all right thank you bye-bye